Hello, viewers. Today, I'll measure the percentage alcohol by volume, the ABV, of some traditional soju that I made. And here's the equipment I'll be using, a glass tube and a hydrometer specifically for distilled spirits. If you have a beer hydrometer, it won't have the right range. There are some instructions that come with this, such as do not boil, uh, measure from the bottom of the meniscus, and you do need to adjust for the temperature of the liquid. Now, I've had trouble making ABV measurements of fermented alcohol in the past, but I have high hopes today because I'll be measuring distilled liquid that is essentially just alcohol and water, so the situation should be simpler. And I expect to be able to get reasonably consistent and accurate measurements. And please watch my previous video to learn more about traditional soju. So I'll build a Mongol style still in my kitchen from stainless steel pots and bowls. This time I tried to be more methodical. I set the heat lower and I collected the distillate every 20 minutes. Now this simple kind of still can be expected to maybe double the alcohol percentage, but not much more than that. And uh, since the fermented rice wine is going to be less than 20% alcohol, the distillate should be less than 40% alcohol. And I'm going to distill this rice wine. This is makgeolli that I brewed last year, but it tasted bad, so I never drank it. Now, it has clarified well, so there is a lot of Changju, the clear rice wine. And that's what I'm going to distill, the Changju. Now, it, uh, it still tastes bad, though. So it's no loss for me to do this experiment. And since it's been in the fridge for so long, it's easy to pour off the Changju, leaving the sediment in the bottle. And add ice water to the bowl on top. And then every 20 minutes, I'll open it up and see how much soju has been collected. So after 20 minutes, I end up with 51 grams of distillate. That's a bit more than 51 milliliters. And after another 20 minutes, I get 49 grams. So that should be enough to measure, actually, but I didn't know that at the time. So I waited for the third sample here and I got 61 grams. So that's definitely enough. If I combine these, that's enough to fill the tube high enough to float the hydrometer, which is what I'm doing now. So um, gotta wait for any bubbles to disappear. Spin it around a bit. And it's a little slanted it's hard for it to rest evenly in, in the tube. So what I see here, it, that looks like, from the bottom of the meniscus, it looks like 37. So that's the scale, that's the alcohol percentage, uh, 37. But there's a temperature adjustment. The temperature is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. This scale is calibrated to 60 degrees, but you have to adjust the percentage by one for every five degrees Fahrenheit. So I have to subtract four percentage points. So this, this should be 33%. So that's the measurement I'm getting, 33% alcohol. Now I'm going to wait for the temperature of the liquid to drop to 75 degrees so I can check it again. And now it looks like my reading, my raw reading is about 36. Now I have to adjust that down by three, three percentage points, so 30, again, 33. So luckily that's consistent. So, so that's my first measurement. But I'm going to keep on collecting distillate from my still and see uh, the next time I get 64 grams. And that's enough uh, when combined with the previous one to measure again. 
And now uh, uh, this is, uh, the liquid is at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and the reading I'm getting, the raw reading is 25%, so that works out to 22% ABV. So later on in the distillation process, yes, the alcohol percentage goes down. I let the still go for another 40 minutes. I collect 102 grams more. So that measurement was even lower. I got, uh, the raw measurement I saw was 16 at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and that adjusted down to 11% ABV. So that's great. I can write the percentage on my little bottles. Uh, so I'm going to keep this uh, 33% soju. That's strong enough to keep. Um, now the weaker stuff, I'm going to just collect in this larger glass bottle and, uh, and distill it again sometime in the future. So I was thinking about the accuracy of this hydrometer and I should actually test it. So let's take some distilled water and see what the hydrometer shows us for that. Of course, with distilled water, it should show exactly zero. And it, it does look like it is showing zero, so that's good, except that the temperature is, um, is not 60 degrees. It's at least uh, the temperature of this distilled water is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and that would mean some adjustment so that would per adjust it below zero, which of course is impossible. I'm not sure if this hydrometer is accurate at this low end of the range, but it's approximately right. And uh, so let's take some, well, let's measure some other distilled spirits. Here's something without a lot of sugar in it, just alcohol and water mostly. And, uh, and for commercial spirits, the ABV is measured very precisely. So if it says 43%, it's almost exactly 43%. Yeah, so what I see is my raw reading is 44. And again, the temperature of the liquid is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So... That's got to be adjusted down one or two. So that's pretty much 43 um, within the limits of this measuring instrument. So unless you're really careful and take multiple measurements and average them or something like that, using this hydrometer is going to give you the ABV, you know, plus or minus one percentage point. And that, that should be good enough for my purposes. Okay, so that's it. I'm sure a lot of you wanted to know the ABV of my traditional soju that I made in my own kitchen. And uh, that's what it works out to. So it's not super strong, but it has a, it does have a lot of flavor and does have the right flavors as far as I can tell. Uh, now, the, the weaker tails of this uh, distillation can be uh, for later use. Please let me know what you think in the comments, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.